Okay guys, so in today's video, I wanna talk about building a base on squats. So one of the things you can do that I've really found delivers tremendous results. And you know, it's one of the reasons I got to the 500 pound squat. Truth be told guys, I hadn't squatted in months. And the first day I squatted, I was doing 155, which is a red plate each side on squat with a power bar. I was doing that for sets of 10 paused high bar, beltless bare knee, and it was semi-challenging. Like my legs were getting smoked. I could feel it. I could feel my quads big time. So that was about seven weeks ago. And in seven weeks, I went from where 155 was pretty tough to a 500, two pound squat, albeit it was low bar. And you know, there's a lot of muscle memory at play there. But the point is, one of the tools you can use to get your squat going is start out high bar. Start out high bar, start out bare knee, start out beltless, and focus on depth. And do that for a period of a few weeks, four or five weeks. And then when you go back to mid bar, and then you eventually go back to low bar, and then you throw a belt in and sleeves, your squat's gonna be way up. That's gonna build, you know, you're gonna build the strongest foundation and provide the greatest strength potential by starting out in the hardest conditions possible. So I'm doing it again now. I reset my squat, I drop down, going straight up high bar, no knee sleeves, no belt. I'm pausing all the reps. I'm building the foundation with that. Yesterday I did uh, 243 for 12, which is nothing. Like you may look at that and be like, well, that's, that's not even heavy, but I'm building it up. So the next squat day, you know, it might be 275 and then I'll eventually get to where I'm doing high bar, bellless, bare knee, sets of 12 with maybe 330, 350. Um, and I do like to do some heavy singles without the belt and sleeves and build that up as well. I want to do 463 because if I do 463 without a belt and sleeves, I'll be around a 535 squat, low bar with belt and sleeves. So don't, don't skip that. You can build a really strong foundation without those to where when you throw all that back in, your squat's going to be stronger than ever. So I don't even low bar um, outside of maxing. The only time I low bar is when I max. I do a lot of the training high bar and then we segue over to mid bar and blow it blows up that way. So that's one of the things I would recommend is um, just start out with the, hot, the hardest conditions possible. And I tend to see where a one to two day squat, honestly a two day squat frequency seems to be ideal for most people. But what you can do is you can have a main squat day and then you can do almost an accessory squat version like a belt squat or like a hack squat or like a leg press or a Bulgarian split squat. You can do that as your day two, or you can just have two straight up uh, back squat days. And that's one of the best ways to get squat going. So for me, you know, I've been doing two days of squats recently and that's been going very, very well. And I may actually start deadlifting again now that my back feels good. And I will segue to where the, uh, the second, the deadlift day, I'll have like squat be a secondary lift where it'll be a bit lighter after the deadlifts, but this works tremendously. Also, it is day nine. Today will be day nine of creatine. Strength gains, not great so far. I haven't really noticed much, but the physique has transformed big time, even in nine days on creatine. I mean, like between creatine and starting to do curls again, I started doing curls again like a week ago. It's just like things are taking off. You can see, I'm trying to show y'all. I mean, it, it's, the physique's coming along. So, that has helped a lot and I can see why honestly you know I'm 204 pounds Nick Bear's like 199 pounds I can see where the the fake natty accusations come in with this kind of stuff because it's like I'm five pounds heavier than him and I think I would get a lot of fake natty accusations if if I was like going around like he is um, because it's just crazy like running combined with the curls and all that and the creatine physique just gets diced up, it's it's wild. So I totally get it. That's why I'm more likely to give someone the benefit of the doubt. Um, I think you gotta look at like strength levels. So when you're looking at someone and you're like, okay, they're a fake natty. Honestly guys, assess the strength levels. Like my bench right now is taking a massive hit um, from being leaned down and running and all that. My physique, it probably looks better than it ever has. Even you could argue when I was on steroids uh, because I'm leaned down but the strength is what takes a big hit. So if I see someone who's just purely like in really good shape, like a Nick Bear, but they don't have that elite level of strength, it's not like he's benching 405, I can be like, okay, it kind of makes sense. It's when I see someone where it's like, they got the crazy strength levels and the physique, 
it starts to raise some eyebrows. So you gotta remember that that is a big thing now that I've been on both sides of the coin. I'm like, I sort of get it where people look at a physique and go, no, they're not natural. But you gotta look at body weight, you gotta look at um, strength levels and all that sort of stuff. That's what is better differentiation. So I just wanna put that out there. Um, gonna have some blueberry pie today. I had some last night. Uh, that's what you can do. That's what you can do when you're doing all this stuff. I would balloon up if it wasn't for the running and if I was eating like this, but it makes it to where I can kind of do some of that. And I'm definitely waiting for it to cool off. We got nine weeks till the half marathon. Don't know if 140 will quite be in the cards. I was thinking about getting some Nike vapor flies for race day and seeing how those help out because I know they make it way faster. Um, but we'll see. It's still pushing towards the 551 squad, 550 mile goal as well. Things are shaping up nicely. Appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna keep pumping the videos out. Go Badgers. Hopefully this video doesn't age poorly. Hopefully they don't get smoked tonight by Washington State. Let's watch.